I'm Zachary Henry, a hepatologist at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia. And on behalf of my co-authors, Dr. Kalpesh Patel, an interventional endoscopist at the Medical College of Baylor in Houston, Texas, Dr. Heather Patton, a hepatologist at the VA Health System in San Diego, and Dr. Wail Saad, an interventional radiologist at the NIH, I'd like to present our clinical practice update on the management of bleeding gastric varices. It's very important to understand that the management of gastric varices is quite different from the management of esophageal varices. Initially, the medical management should be similar for any patient presenting with portal hypertensive bleeding. But your initial endoscopic evaluation will likely only include a temporizing method to stop the acute bleeding event as opposed to a definitive therapy. The initial endoscopic findings should ideally be combined with cross-sectional imaging with MRI or CT to evaluate the underlying vasculature of the gastric varices. With this information, a multidisciplinary discussion between hepatology, interventional radiology, and interventional endoscopy should occur to determine the best definitive therapy for that patient. And many times, this may also depend on local expertise available at your institution. For endoscopic therapy, cyanoacrylate injection is the best therapy to use to prevent long-term rebleeding. For endovascular therapy, both TIPS placement and BRTO, balloon-occluded retrograde transvenous obliteration, are the ideal therapies for the management of gastric varices. To learn more about the workup and management of bleeding gastric varices, please read our clinical practice update coming out in the June issue of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology.